Rowan. All right. Uh, so what's been going on with you lately? Uh, nothing much. I know uh, there's a lot of things happening in the world right now uh, regarding finances and uh, things, people out of work, and uh, some people with work, and they say the economy's doing good, and uh, what's the true story? Mm-hmm. But you were saying that they have got some yeah. things going on. Well, yeah, I just, you know, I, I got an article. This article's from... Uh, Bridges for Peace, and it's about it's an Israel publication about Israel. What's going on with Israel? You know, I'm just kind of concerned. You know, we remember when we had this uh, the stock market when it fell, right? And everybody scrambled to try to save their money, and banks were on the run, right, right. And everything else, and we had. Push all kinds of money back on the banks. That's right. There to stay alive. That's right. Money. That's right. And it does seem, and that happened, but it just seems like everything since that is everything has gone downhill. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if people have noticed this or if it's just me myself, but I've noticed that we've had an increase, like in, we've had an increase in, in, in regards to uh, tornadoes in, in, in Arkansas and Texas and the Midwest. And all these different things are happening to us, brother, and I just wonder if it's because we've turned our backs on Israel. Mm. We know that our government has not agreed with a lot of the things that Israel is telling them, telling them about. Hey, listen, you know, if you let these guys have a foothold there, they're going to take this. That's right. And so uh, Israel got tired of waiting for us to, to help them out, so we're going to do it ourselves. Wow. Yeah. And I'm just kind of concerned that God says in, 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 in I'm not sure if it's Deuteronomy or Genesis. Yeah, Genesis. In Genesis, it says that uh, God will bless those who bless Israel and he'll curse those who curse them. That's right. And I just pray that we are not cursing Israel because we do. That's right. I'm telling you people, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, Paul, I don't believe what you believe about Israel. But I'm telling you, that's God. God chose the people that's of right. Israel first. Right. They didn't choose them. The Mexicans, the Japanese, the, that's uh, right. the black American or, or anybody else out there. What he chose first was Israel, hmm. and we've got to respect that. It doesn't mean that you know we have to go out of our way and do this and do that. But what needs we need, we need to pray for it. If you can't do anything else, and you don't want to do anything else, pray for Israel. Because when you pray for Israel, you're praying for the United States. Hmm. Now, right. if you don't believe that, then don't pray for them and just let things go the way they are. That's right. That's I right. just feel, brother, that we need to get back to the basics. I think that's really important for us to do because a lot of us are not doing that. We're just, you know, we're just going our own way. And I noticed one thing too, but I don't know if you've seen this, but I've seen it lately. And somebody checked me on this, and I checked my spirit. We want, we want all the gifts all the time. We want to be prophesied all the time, but we don't want to read the word. That's right. And I just wonder about that sometimes. I mean, even in my own life, maybe I'm doing that same thing, chasing when I should be chasing after God's word. You should have the spirit. You should have the word. I, I agree with that. But just like you want it out of the air whenever you feel that you want to take from God and God's going to give it to you. Mm. I don't I don't know, but what do you feel about that? Am I well, going no, no, no. I think I think you're right, but I mean, um, I know we did a, a broadcast uh, in our archives of, about Israel and I believe the scripture says that uh, if, if you would bless Israel, then all the nations will be blessed. Mm-hmm. And, uh, this is like a parish phrase, is what it said. Um, and um, he says that several times. And uh, if you think about it, uh, those who are Christians out there, you know, um, the whole Bible, the whole Bible is written. You know, basically it's about Israel. You know, he's basically the apple of the eye. And I think mm-hmm. we were talking back then. We were talking about that. That basically. It's like if you want to really please your daddy, mm-hmm. you know, some of you uh, would watch like his favorite TV show or do the things that he likes or like your mom, you know, mm-hmm. like if you really love your mom, you'll do the things that she likes to do, you know, vice versa, husband and wife kind of thing. And it, it might not be something that you understand or why you do it. You just do it because, you know, you know that pleases it. Mm-hmm. Well, with Israel, that's what pleases God. That's right. Because he said that if first, first the Jews, then the Gentiles. You that's know? right. That's and right. then you know the whole thing about Revelation is that uh, um, you look at Armageddon. Uh, the whole thing he's coming back. You know, for Israel, he's going to come back to the same spot where he left. Hmm. And uh, um, so you can imagine if the whole nations come against them, uh, we're just pushing a time clock. It's time ticking already. 
and uh, he's going to rescue. And and if we come against them, he's going to come against us. Mm. It's not a it's not a, a basically if we have a choice in this, it's, it's just how it is, you know. And you know, brother, I mean, the, the funny thing is that you know I'm um, I'm not Jewish and mm. you're not Jewish, right. you know. But it, in the, in the scriptures it says that we are children of Abraham, mm. so we're we're grafted in there. Mm. That's right, by the blood so, of Jesus. That's right. That's right. You know, I, I, you know, my picture is, and I, I, I've been going to a lot of different churches, and not just to, to go from one church to another church, but I've been very interested in seeing the Messianic movement mm -hmm. and having Christian and Jewish people uh, worship together. And it's good to see the Christians and the Jewish people worship together. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I think the, the Messianic people, they look at the, the regular Christians and wouldn't want them. And it seems like there's something like that happening in some of the churches that I went to. I mean, they're open and they're loving and everything, but in the back of their mind, it seems like they're thinking, well, what do you want? Huh. Are you going to do something wrong to hurt us? Or are you going to do something to make it feel awkward in any way? And, that, and, and, that, and that's a shame. I think what we need to do as is, is Christians is embrace that culture, sure. that Jewish culture, the Jewish faith. I mean, the Jewish people that are believing in Jesus Christ as Lord and mm -hmm. Savior. Try to get together and get something going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just noticed that lately. And I've been going to this place in, this place in Irvine. And I've noticed with another one I went to that was in Anaheim. And I've noticed that's what's happening. I, I, knew, I want to get involved with it because I can tell my heart too that to worship with the, with the Messianic believers. But I don't want them to feel uncomfortable because of where I, my background is come from believing in the Spirit and all that stuff. And they're kind of, they can, some of them are, they're really into it, but some of them are just kind of, well, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, wow, wow. You know, it's interesting when you said that for me. So. Um, I just I just think um, you know with 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 Israel and everything you know um, you just gotta look in the scriptures and, and see um, you know I guess for example you know if you look through the histories you know with the whole Holocaust thing and everything and they're still around <laughs> you know and they're they're around because there's a reason for that. Well, if you notice, the big corporations we have in the United States, Microsoft, that's a Jewish corporation. And really? All the huge ones out there really? are Jew, Jewish back, or they, they, they're they part of that and got it going in different places. Like and the film industry, industry, too. That's they, right. They, they were, yeah. Golden, the, the mayor, and yeah. different people like that. Yeah. So, I mean, I just, the Lord yeah. already had this pre-planned way ahead of time. And he put Jewish people here for a purpose. And if you look at him, you may say, well, I, you know, they're, they, they've done this and they've done that. But no, the Lord put them there for a purpose, for his purpose. Mm. And he thought that they should be there at that time. Mm. Mm. I mean, all the successful business that were, they were there. Now, some may have done wrong, some, but it was for God's purpose. It wasn't for our purpose. God was saying, okay, I'm going to let this happen for a reason because I want my purpose to be there. You may not understand it, but I have it there. Like presidents that we've put that's that right. we elected. That's right. That's right. Like in the, in the Egyptian, you know, the Pharaoh. Right. He let the Pharaoh go up, but he used the Pharaoh to do that to get accomplished what he wanted to accomplish. That's right. So I, I don't know. I just, I, <laughs> I just, I think that it's real important that we get back to uh, the Lord and uh, start praying for Israel and just asking Lord how we can contribute to Israel. That's right. Which way? You know, whether it be money, whether it be uh, prayers, whether it be helping out an old person on the street or something, or somebody that you know in your community, around your neighborhood, that that needs help, and they need Jewish, and that they need help. They need somebody, you know, take them right. to the store or you know, help feed them or just take care of them for a day. Whatever it is, right. whatever the Lord puts on your heart, whatever the Holy Spirit wants to speak to you about, that's what really matters. It's not what I want you to do. It's what the Holy Spirit wants you to do. You just be open to that and bless them to you. That's right. You know, you know, I was thinking about the. This came to my mind. Um, you know, with with all the stuff that's happening with with, uh, <clears throat> with the destructions and and the weather and so forth like that. But then, you know, I think you know, I just heard the news about that. Remember that big meteor thing that hit mm. uh, Russia and that's stuff right, like that. That's right. Well, now they're saying, I guess. Uh, that it was it's a cluster of a whole bunch of oh, wow. meteors and this is I just found that out. Wow. 
So um, there's a lot of things happening, and I don't know if it's because of judgment, you know, and uh, but I also know that um, God can change things. Too. That's right. That's right. Yeah, but the Bible also says that you know in Psalms 91 it says that you know a uh, thousand will fall aside, ten thousand rise up, and then I come near you. And what, what I guess me and my brother are saying is that uh, the key on all this is that if you pray for Israel, because the Scripture says, "If you bless them, you'll be blessed." And um, there's something, I guess, spiritually, but that's right. uh, like a covering or that's something right. that happens when you do that. That's and, right. and that's what my brother's trying to um, say to you is, is that, uh, you know, pray for them. And, um, you know, my thought is, check this out. Just try doing this. See if, if when you start praying for Israel, and if enough people do it out there, I believe, is that God would lift his hand upon, or put his hand back upon us. That are lifting it away, putting it back upon us and bless us. I don't know what that could be. Maybe that's in our finances. Maybe that's in, a, in the jobs for people that need jobs on the street. Or maybe it's to, to have a different spiritual awakening in this country or whatever it is. Because it seems like a lot of times we're kind of just drifting right now. Mm. And that's sad because America at one time was a pretty powerful nation. I mean, everybody looked at us and go, wow, you guys are blessed. And we were, like we looked at you know, inventions and all this stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were, we were technically, we were ahead of everybody. And, I mean, and now it's like we're just drifting away. We're just drifting, little by little, we're just drifting away. And I believe it's because we, we, we turned away from God, and, and, they, and I think we turned our backs on Israel. And God said, well, you know what? I'm not good enough for this, so. Maybe I should go to another country and bless them. Wow. So just something to think about. Anyway, brother, you have anything else to say? No, that's, that's about it. Well, we just bless you. We bless you.